Welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. Today Obermott published the top 10 stocks of the Euro Stocks 50 index. These are the largest 50 stocks in Europe. This is really safe. Here you can pick any of the stock. You can actually draw a dice if you want to. In the long term, you'll have the return of the Euro Stock 50 on average. But we are not good. We humans are not good at throwing dice in, your, in our minds. When we pick stocks just randomly from what our gut feel tells us, we'll tend to pick the stocks that are, you know, have good news, that are, that are recommended by many people. And that means we are focusing on a certain subset of stocks that happens to be in the news. This is not necessarily a good strategy because the more a stock the more the, 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 the stock is in the news, the higher its price, which means we're going to focus on paying high prices for our stocks. A better way to look at stocks in the Euro 50, in the Euro stocks 50, is to use the Obermott rating because it inverses the process. It shows you which stocks are cheap. And I have it here in front of me. I see here the stocks, the 10 stocks that have the cheapest valuation in Europe, in, in, in Europe compared to their price. And you can actually see quite a few stocks that I already bought. You know, LVMH, uh, BMW I bought, uh, Schneider Electric I bought. I don't want to buy, you know, banks or, or uh, multi-line insurance companies. I already have telecommunications. So I'm going for Nokia. Now we all know Nokia has been in the news with bad news. And that, you know, inhibits a lot of people to buy the stock. So what I did is I went to the stock site of Nokia and Obermott, where you can quickly Google the, the news for, for Nokia. And what I found is this here. I saw pretty high up on the Google uh, research is Nokia Corp rating lowered to hold at Fetter Inc., which means they think you shouldn't buy Nokia. If I go two, three, you know, uh, two line items further down, it says, is it time to go bottom fishing with Nokia at Yahoo News? Exactly the contrary. You know, they're saying, you know, maybe this is really a good time to buy stocks. And maybe go even further, uh, almost here at the bottom, you see, no, actually in the middle, you see Nokia Corp upgraded to buy by Goldman Sachs. Now, this is exactly the country, and you can see why I often say the news are useless for you. Pick the stocks you want, make sure you're diversified, and if you use the Obermott stock lists, you're buying rather the cheaper stocks than the more expensive stocks, which makes it easy for you to have a sound long-term stock investment strategy. I wish you good luck with your own stock investing. Bye-bye.